I'm not gonna lie, this is my third take right now. It really is. So, there is a lot going on on this table. Um, we've got to get these two babies ready to go home to their mommies. And Parker's in the middle of the table because he has a gift. And I would show you the gift, but the person that sent it to me really set me up to show my address. <laughs> that was one take that I had to redo. But let's just, uh, okay, here we go. Here we go, it's from Tiffany, and it is for Parker. I'm just gonna tear into this like a savage. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. This is the cutest sweatshirt. Aww. Look at this. Oh Parker. my goodness. It says Little Valentine, and it's got Baby Yoda on there. O-M-G, Parker. Are you ready to show them what it's all about. Let's see this cuteness. You ready to see him in his super cute new outfit? Here we go. Look at him, how cute. Ladies, his jeans are Levi, so he has a little, whoop, 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 he's over it. He has a little Levi butt. <laughs> Let me show you this. So cute, look at that. How cute is that? Parker's got a Levi butt. Now he needs a little Wrangler, but we don't have any Wranglers for him. I found those Levi's for him at one of the thrifting stores that we go to. And can you believe it, guys? So when I say Parker has a weird size, like he can wear three to six months. He can clearly wear this six to nine months sweatshirt. His pants are 12 months, okay? And they fit him perfectly. So he's a little all over the board with certain clothing. Um, like clothing where he's really all over the board is Jimboree. That's one that he can mix match sizes. He can wear sizes that surprise me like these 12 month size pants. So yeah, he's an oddball. But Carter's and stuff, he's he's a six month. That's where he's at. That's where he's at. And you know, at Target, he's a six month or three to six months. So that's what I buy for him. Except that we recently had to buy his other Yoda outfit in a six to nine months. So we're learning that in licensed clothing, he's six to nine months. But yeah, look at how cute he is in his vans that never get old. These vans are a few years old now. So cute. Parker, we're gonna have to get you a new pair of vans one day. Let's get back to what we're doing here. So we're going to add waiting to these babies so I can get them sent home. This time around for photos, I didn't um, wait the dolls because I just had enough glass beads for like two or three dolls, you know? So I was like, well, whoever sells first, obviously, I'll wait the baby, and then I'll be able to buy glass beads when the baby sells. So OC and Twin A are getting weighted. Yeah, so they just have polyfill in their body. Um, that way I was able to do photos with them. That's what I used to do a long time ago, but then I found like just weighting them and having them ready to go is so much more convenient because I found years ago when I would just, um, <laughs> do this for photos, I was, I was like, oh my god, I hate building the dolls, why didn't I just um, do this all when I was done with them, but it's not that I hate them, it's just like, you're like ready for them to go home, and you're like, oh, this is one more thing I have to do, I should have done it when I did the photos, and we wouldn't be doing this right now, but no, you chose to be lazy at that moment, but actually, I didn't choose to be lazy at this moment, I just didn't have enough glass beads to build all my dolls, and so, and I didn't know who would sell first, um, because the dolls that I assume will sell first, they sometimes don't sell first. So yeah. But anyway, so we're taking off his arms. They won't be this easy to come off because I still have to tighten the zip ties. His little noggin. I'll take his head off. There we go. Okay, so they've got OC apart. Little twin A. Oh, these babies are so cute. And then the two babies in the background are the only two ba babies available for homes. I'm gonna be starting Bluebell by Cassie Brace. And that one won't be rooted because um, 
I took partial payment, so sometimes, guys, this is this is rare, so you gotta hit me with something good. I took partial payment on OC for a reborn kit in exchange, okay? So it's a sold out, very hard to find reborn kit, and I took it as partial um, cash payment. And it's Parker's kit. So the May Louise kit is going to be in my hands again to create. And we are going to create a version similar to Parker to have available for you guys to purchase. So what I'm saying is not all the time would I accept these offers. I mean, it definitely has to be a kit I'm looking for. But if there's ever a doll I have for sale and you have a rare, limited, sold out edition kit that you are willing to offer as part cash payment trade, don't be afraid to message me. The worst thing is I could say no. I could be like, ah, it's just not a kit I'm interested in. But nowadays, sold out rare kits, especially ones that are several years old, I am on the look for. So yeah, you could be like, hey, I have this kit and would you, you know, accept it as, you know, a $200 payment or a $300 payment on one of your dolls? You know, just don't know. You never know. And I could be like, yep. But first you have to put the cash down payment and then the kit comes after that. So that is something that you guys aren't aware of that I do trades on the side. And this is usually done between friends because... Friends are the ones that are more like, you know, willing to ask because they know that I am on the look for certain reborn kits. So, yeah, just food for thought. But that's how OC's mom got him. I got cash up front and then she was like, hey, I have a May Louise kit. Do you want to take some of this as payment? And I was like, let me think about it. Talk to Jackie. I'm like, you want to root him and make him look like Parker? She's like, you know what? Yeah, that's a good trade. Take it. So, there you go. Her baby's coming home to her much sooner than she expected. And she's excited about that because she was going to have to find money to pay it off. But yeah. Anyways, some things work out that way. But here we are. I'm putting in glass beads, which are very fine glass beads. I get them from... Um, Harbor Freight. This was a 25 pound, yeah, 25 pound bucket. They're pretty hard to open, but honestly, if you pop a screwdriver in there and pull that tab, it's not that hard to open. It gives you a little bit of a struggle, but um, yeah, so that's what I use. And then I cap off the legs, cap off the legs with polyfill. Sorry, I should be over here showing you guys this. But at least I'm conversating with you and it's not like a silent video and you're not seeing what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh man, I've lost everything. So we got Twin A. Twin A's mom is so excited. I really am <laughs> debating making another Twin A for me um, later in this year. And if I do, the mo uh, there's somebody who's already... <laughs> Place claim on it so that one will, already has a mom for when I'm done with it because everybody knows I just keep babies you know temporarily for the most part in my collection but yeah so there's she's so cute I love how she turned out I really do Let's pour that in there I have a little creamer thing that I use to pour my glass beads in then I don't need a funnel. It's pretty easy this way. Pat it down. Make sure my glass beads are all the way down there. Then put the polyfill in. And this is how you make a baby. The kids are ready to be dressed. Twin A is nicely weighted. I don't know their weights yet, but I will weigh them before I send them home. OC is nicely weighted as well. So, let's see. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Who shall we dress first? Who shall we? Let's dress OC first. Okay, OC, I'm going to put him in this nice 
warm sleeper that I had picked up for Noah and never used it on Noah. So we'll put it on him. I was hoping it would have fit Laura, but Laura is, well, ocean. It's too big. So I thought this would like really compliment Osi's hair color. Oh my gosh, so cute. There you go. It's so cozy too. Super cozy. Okay, here we are. Put your arms in there, mister. Aw, he's so excited to go home. I mean, don't let his expression fool you. He really is excited to go home. Oh, this fits him so nice. So this is newborn size. Okay. I was just like, I have newborn, I have newborn baby boy clothes. I need a newborn baby. Man, I gotta find kids that I really want. Hey, maybe somebody's gonna message me and wanna do a kit, partial kit trade as payment on one of my dolls and it's gonna be a killer kit. Never know. I don't know why I didn't talk about that before tell you guys that sometimes I take kits as partial payments you know all right let's get you are you buttoned up there oh my goodness look at you Hosey so cute and then we've got this nice green hat to put on him oh my gosh adorable he's adorable let me um <clears throat> Move him to the side now so we can dress Miss Twin A. Here's Twin A. She's going to wear this little Gerber Fox sleeper. Super cute. Which, And if you like this Fox sleeper, we have it available on the website. If it's not there when this video is up, just keep checking. Because we have bought a lot of new clothes for the website, guys. Yay! There's a lot of cute stuff. We have been scoring on some really cute stuff. Like, I swear lately they have had nothing. And then the last two days we've gone out, we're like, oh my gosh. There is so much cute things out. So, yeah, make sure to check out that website. Just keep clicking the load more at the bottom because that means there's more that you're missing. Oh my, look at how cute. Oh, that sleeper's adorable on her. I think Gerber adjusted their sizes. I swear these sleepers used to run really big and it fits her really nice. Here's one of her pacifiers she's going home with. I have three little suities that I'm sending her home with. I happen to get a big old lot of different soothing pacifiers. So this little twin A is going home with a couple pacifiers for mommy. I love twin A because she can take that pacifier. That's why I'm like, I want it back in my collection. It's like one of the only dolls that can do that. It's, unless it's silicone. As you guys know, we recently adopted this beautiful chameleon over there. She's a little irritated that I have um, opened her enclosure because she's going to be getting ready to go to bed. Um, well, we went to Petco recently and they had some chameleons that looked really sick. So you see this one right here. We were talking with the girl there. And she was like, you know, they may need to find it a special home because it could possibly be dying. So I gave her my phone number and they contacted us today and said, could you please come adopt this piebald veiled chameleon at a very special price? Because they're very expensive. As you can see, it's a very unique looking chameleon. I've never seen one like her before. And I said, sure, I'll come right over because I didn't want it to die. And I was like, of course, you know. Um, I don't mind taking on another chameleon, especially one so interesting as this one because I, in all my years of going to the pet store, I've never seen one that looks like this. So it was really interesting. So she's a piebald, veiled chameleon, size of a small jelly bean. She's like the same size as Fluffy when we got her. I don't know what we're calling this one. I know Heather has uh, decided to call it Moo. Uh, because of its spots, but I'm not sure if that's going to be its name. I love how it looks like it's wearing a t-shirt, and I don't know. I'm not rushing to any names. Jackie and I haven't really talked about any names for it either. We just were um, more focused on getting it in its new habitat for now. So yeah, so we've got two chameleons. Super excited. You can see more videos of them 
on TikTok. I like to share them there as well. There it is, look at it, it's so sweet. But can you see how its little arms look like it's got like a t-shirt on it? Look at it, it's rubbing its head. It's got an itchy spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, babe, it's rubbing itself on the um, plant, the little oh, suction that cup. Oh, Fluffy does. Yeah. His little head. Oh, I see. So oh it looks my like. Gosh. <laughs> How cute. Is it? Oh no, I'm like, is it peeling? It's not. Not yet that I noticed, but it's so adorable. So yeah, so it looks like it has a shirt on, like straight up. The sleeves come down on the same side, <laughs> evenly. So yeah, so I guess you know Heather put in her name Moo, and we'll see if Moo is fitting. But I really want to. Think of a name with that little sleeves, like, I don't know. It's just so cute. I'm like, you look like you're wearing a t-shirt. Oh, now you can really see her. She's so pretty. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us. It's always a pleasure to be with you guys. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting blurry. I she really pull out the focus. There we go. Oh, my goodness. We love hanging out with you guys. We'll be back tomorrow with more content. Stay positive. Don't give in to those negative winches. Remember, kindness kills evil. So be kind to those who can't be kind back to you because it's, you know, that's just how we're supposed to be. Humanity's supposed to be kind, not mean. All right, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Love you so much. Bye.